One of the most widespread misconceptions about sack sizing for vintage pens is that sack size should be determined by the fit on the sack nipple or sack peg as the Brits call it. Uh, that's not the way you do it. You have to size it by the interior dimensions of the barrel. Um, the reason being that the relationship between those two sizes isn't fixed. It's not a, it's not standardized. And I'm just going to demonstrate this here with a very common little Waterman 52 and a half V. Uh, it takes a number 14 sack and it's a snug sliding fit here in the barrel. When you put this onto the peg, it's a pretty tight fit. there we go and you can see it is really quite snug there you see and it has to stretch quite a bit to fit on okay that's our number 14 sack that's the correct one here's the number let's go up to number 15 slip that on oops there we go That's still a nice tight fit on the on the nipple. You can see there, it's stretching quite a bit. Will it fit in the barrel? No, it won't. It won't fit. Here we go with the number 16. That will also fit. Look, it's a nice tight fit. Oop, well, it will pop in. It doesn't have to be held with shellac, but it's still a good sound fit. But as you can imagine, it doesn't even come close to, well, we already did that. It doesn't come close to fitting in the barrel. Here's number 17. Again, we're getting way, way too big there. Um, even that, if you were sizing, choosing your sack, by measuring the nipple, look, it still stretches very nicely. It's a great fit. And a matter of fact, you can go all the way up to size 18. And it's not bad. It's not really stretched, but it is stretching enough to get some good friction there. And, um, you know, were the barrel the right size for an 18, it would fit fine with shellac. It would be held very firmly onto, onto the section. So um, that's a pretty good illustration, I think, of why you need to measure off of the barrel dimensions, interior barrel dimensions, rather than from the section.